Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Netflix Review Tube. <clears throat> it's definitely been a while since we've done one in, um, in quite some time, actually. But I do have one really great episode today for you guys. Um, and it is all in regards to Coffee and Kareem. That is one of the newest that came out uh, April 3rd. You have the right to remain silent! <laughs> I just recently watched it and I loved it. Uh, I definitely found it entertaining. It was definitely um, something pretty good. It was something uh, that had me on the edge of my on the edge of my chair for uh, for a good amount of time throughout the whole movie. Pretty much throughout the whole movie, I couldn't stop chuckling, laughing. So I definitely recommend it. Um, a couple bumps here and there, but let's just dive right in and discuss it. <clears throat> so with coffee and Kareem takes play of. Officer Coffee, go figure, um, who not only is is dating uh, a new a new profound girlfriend, um, but one in, in the form of a mom, and and this mom also is a very secure and uptight mom. Uh, if if I say so myself, um, definitely has uh, a strong independent vibe to her throughout the whole series, <clears throat> but definitely doesn't get taken to. Um, Seriously, but she is not a mom to be messed with, uh, that, that being said. Um, but Officer Co uh, Coffee is dating her. <clears throat> While well, he is dating her, sorry. Uh, he also has to uh, kind of take charge and grow with her son. Her son being Kareem. Kareem is like a very inappropriate um, character. And, he, and that's, pretty, that's pretty messed up considering the fact that he's merely not even a teenager yet. Uh, really about 8, 10, 11-ish, uh, around that age. But it's, the, the things definitely go spiraling out of control when he heists a plan to try to get Officer Coffee killed. Um, and this all happened based on the principle, based on the fact that Coffee is sleeping with his mother because they're dating and that's kind of what happens in a relationship from time to time. Right, you know, the physical aspect of it. So he walks in, catches the officer banging his mom, and that just had me f fucking dying. Like, it was crazy. Um, but that's just a small part of the story. <clears throat> this prank goes south when they walk in on a uh, pretty much a murder scene inside of the uh, a boxing facility. So <clears throat> once upon that, then we're kind of in the midst of a, of a big old royale of 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 events of just a tremendous chase you know like chase to try to prove that officer coffee is not <clears throat> a bad cop and that is another subplot throughout the movie that is occurring the fact that the uh police department around the area is definitely not all good not all good there's good cops and then there's a lot of bad cops. So <clears throat> that turns into a nice little subplot that diverts the main storyline a little bit from the dating aspect. And it just being like a full-on love story or a full-on fuckfest of verbal <clears throat> continuity there, uh, if you will. Get it. Back up, yo. Your dick is rubbing against my ass. Well, then turn towards me. I don't want to rub dicks either. But, um... It's definitely full of a lot of laughs. Uh, it's it's something that I feel like it has something for everybody. It's it's definitely something that I felt like people can slightly get offended by, but if you have a, a an expanded sense of humor, it shouldn't bother you too much. Uh, reading like a couple comments here and there about what what people thinking about the movie and whatnot, I kind of came to the sense of some people did get offended to it. I saw that some people actually did not like it well if there's a reason why it says tv mature so uh, I'm, I'm big on those comedy movies that just go south right out of the gate you know like it can be disgusting it can be freakish it can be something just a crappy cheesy joke or whatever so it's like those types of movies they tend to just kind of make the day you know mom dated just one guy and we became bffs you were bff 
sex with a grown ass man. There's literally documentaries on Netflix about why that's so sick and fucked. You know, it's something out of the ordinary, but the whole the way the way this movie develops along the the main plot and within the subplot, the jokes that can be <clears throat> buried in between each serious aspect of the film definitely makes the movie what it is. Um couple bumps here and there that could have been resolved. couple things that <clears throat> that could have been better. I mean, they could have made a little bit more of like a, a, an emotional, spiritual relationship between Coffee and Kareem. Um, but I guess, you know, they were leaning more on the com comical side of things. So, I mean, I guess you couldn't really fit that in there from the, from what I from what I saw. But it was definitely something that um, wasn't short of uh, hilarious. Like, you know. You know, we've seen so many movies where there's a cop and there's a bad guy and we have to, like, try to figure out the main points. But the way they, the way, the way where the movie saved itself was <clears throat> there was a good nice in between everything, you know. There was, yeah, we haven't really seen that. I don't think we've seen a movie in a long time that had a cop that was just kind of a loser and not a badass in any way, shape, or form, but just had a big heart. And that heart allowed him to save the day when needed. Uh, and then on top of that, the kid was able to, uh, their, their arguments, their, their disbeliefs within each other's morales were, were able to collide and save the day as well. Um, this kid, the kid was just the funniest part, man. Like, like, it's just, it's crazy. Like, that kid was just so messed up. It was, it was insane. But the bond that he had with his mother is definitely something that stood out and kind of brought more of a down to earth feeling within the, within the flick. So, Definitely great. Definitely recommend it. I'd probably end up giving it a solid 7.5 out of 10. You know, again, it is a cop movie. There's seriousness. But comical-wise, it's it's above average. It's like top-notch comedy right there. And that's something that, that I love to see. But throughout the whole movie, as an overall grade, you're probably looking at a 7.5, C+, plus, you know, C, C+. Plus. Um, but, at the, like, you know, at the end of the day, I really think it's something everybody should watch. The movie was actually funnier than a lot of movies that actually have been in theaters. So, um, on top of that, that's kind of what uh, Coffee and Kareem is about. The the comedy that was in it, it kind of built the storyline as well. It wasn't just something that was serious. You throw in a couple jokes, and then it's serious. It's actually situational events that can really happen that they made funny. So that's another great that's another great thing why it even hits that seven point five mark for it to actually be strong enough to reach that grade, uh, being a great movie. And also the fact that a movie like this was not in theaters, that it could have been definitely rewarding of a 7.5. Um, I'm definitely going to try to bust out some more uh, Netflix for YouTube um, videos out there. I don't know what I'll do next. We will see. Just stay tuned, find out, hit that bell, subscribe, you get the immediate update. Uh, of the next video. All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next one.